if you're anything like me, you may be wondering whether or not a Tesla will actually avoid obstacles in front of it if the driver is stupid enough to keep on accelerating. So we stuck person in front of the car and then just let the car crawl forward just at a pace like this, so three miles per hour. And then we just wanted to see whether or not it would actually stop. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can run into you. Just wait there. Let's see if a Tesla will allow me to have an accident. You ready? <laughs> so the answer is it will allow me to hit you. Yeah. Did it hit you? Did it, did it hit you or not? Just let it hit you. Turn around the other way or something so you don't hurt yourself. Just... I, okay, I'll go... That's as slow as I can go. Just go, just move, just turn around, like walk in front, turn around. So if it does hit you, you just like lie back. Just move further forward a bit. A bit just go further forward so there's a bit of a gap. Further forward, make a gap so that this, yeah, okay, stop there. And just, just wait there. <laughs> So the answer is it will hit you. Uh. <laughs> that didn't work. Bad car. Look. That did not go so well for Jose. So bottom line is, if you're manually driving it, it may beep at you and tell you to stop, but it won't actually hit the brakes. I actually was surprised. I thought it would auto brake, like, like uh, quite a lot of cars out there will, if it senses that you're about to hit a wall, it won't let you go any further. But this actually let us run into um, a person that was standing in front of the car. So it was something that was surprising. I was always curious to know whether or not it did it. So now we know.